Today, we will discuss high eosinophil levels in an easy to understand way. What could be causing your high eosinophil count? This term might sound foreign to you, but it's simply a type of white blood cell. When you hear that your blood test shows high eosinophils, you might wonder, what's causing this? High levels of eosinophils, known as eosinophilia, can be due to various reasons. It's like a mystery we need to solve. Let's explore some common culprits. Allergic disorders. These include common conditions like asthma or more unusual ones like drug hypersensitivity. Infections. Parasitic infections, especially from helminths like hookworms or strongyloids, are notorious for causing high eosinophil counts. Cancer and blood disorders. Certain types of leukemia or other myeloid neoplasms can increase eosinophils. Autoimmune and other disorders. Sometimes the body's immune system may react abnormally, leading to increased eosinophils. When should you be alarmed about high eosinophils? Now let's talk about when high eosinophils are a red flag. If you're feeling very ill or your eosinophil count is extremely high, like more than 50,000 per microl, it's time to act fast. This isn't just a number, it could signify something serious, like eosinophil-mediated myocarditis, which affects the heart or other organ damage. Symptoms like rash, breathing difficulties, stomach issues, or feeling unusually fatigued alongside high eosinophils need immediate medical attention. In such cases, doctors don't wait for more tests to start treatment. The key is prompt action to prevent any potential damage to your organs. How do doctors investigate high eosinophils? You might be wondering, what tests will my doctor do to find out why my eosinophils are high? The investigation is tailored to your unique situation. It starts with a thorough review of your medical history and symptoms. From there, doctors often order complete blood count, CBC, with differential. This helps to see the overall picture of your blood cells. Blood smear review. It gives a closer look at your blood cells. Checks for organ function. This includes testing your heart, liver, and kidney functions. Imaging tests, like a chest x-ray or CT scan, especially if there are respiratory symptoms. Specific tests for heart and blood disorders. These can include cardiac troponin tests or vitamin B12 levels. Be sure to follow up with your healthcare provider for the next step.